Hello friends, good morning to all of you. So I am back with another video on sociology option subject for UPSC means examination. In this video, we are going to cover population dynamics, component of population growth that is birth, death, and migration. So friend, please do these three hours. It will really mo motivate me to continue this awesome course. Share as much as possible so that more and more people will get benefited. Comment and like the video and ask any doubt if you have. And hit the subscription button below the video as has below the video as hard as you can and now you can also follow us on facebook page that is www.facebook.com slash unorthodox academy and the link is given in description below so friend as you know that we are covering slot to autonomous topics we have already covered these much topics and in this video we are going to cover components of population growth that is birth death and migration so friend before starting this video i would like to tell you something about population dynamics basically population dynamics deals with the census of india so in indirectly by this we are covering census of india and the main emerging issues so basically the more uh, the questions that are in present time coming from this topic is from these emerging issues that is aging sex ratio child and infant infant mortality and reproductive health so basically uh, when this section will arrive then i will give you the questions that are important related to this topic so let's get started with this so component of population growth basically population is a dynamic phenomena the numbers distribution and composition of the populations are constantly changing this is the influence of interaction of three process namely birth death and migration Growth of population is the change in the number of people living in a particular area between two points of time. Its rate is expressed in percentage. Population growth has two components, mainly namely natural and induced. That means naturally there are two factors that is birth rate and de mm, uh, death rate which influence the population growth and induced in this we are says that induced factors are those which are arises from the migration so basically migrations is a type of induced factors or induced component of population growth so the natural increase of population is the difference between birth rate and death rate so what is birth rate birth rate is basically the number of lives birth per thousand persons in a year it is a major component of growth because in india birth rate have always been higher than death rates death rate is the number of death persons death per thousand persons in a year the main cause of the rate of growth of indian population has been the rapid decline in death rate why there is a rapid decline because of improvement in medical facilities transport and infrastructure till 1980 a high birth rates and declining death rates lead to a large difference between birth rate and death rate resulting in higher rate of population growth since 1981 birth rate have also started declining gradually and resulting in a gradual decline in the rate of population growth and one more fa one factor that makes this point valid is this literacy rate as now we are saying that one couple has almost around one uh, child or maximum two child but basically they are preferring one child so the third component of population growth is migration which is an induced component of population growth migration is the movement of people across regions and territories migration can be internal that is within the country or international that means between the countries now basically types or the streams of migrations so basically there are two types of or streams of migration and these are internal migration stream and the second one international migration stream under the internal migration four streams are identified first one is that ruler to rural rural to urban then third urban to urban and the fourth one that is urban to rural which is very less in percentage so in india during 2001 out of 315 million migrants enumerated on the basis of last residence 98 million had changed their place of resident in last 10 years out of these 81 million were interstate migrant so before going further as you seeing that this is the older one data 
so for the present data i am just giving a link in the descriptions which is an article in the hindu newspaper which clarifies or which gives you the present data so that's why i am here giving you the old data so that you can more correlate with this and the new data will be in the descriptions below link which is given in description below so under international stream india experience immigration from that means people immigrate from to india and immigration to that means people going to another countries to the neighboring countries indian census 2001 has recorded that more than 5 million persons have migrated to india from other countries out of these 96% came from neighboring countries such as bangladesh pakistan and nepal and including this there are 0.16 million refugees from tibet sri lanka bangladesh pakistan afghanistan iran and myanmar as far as immigration from india is concerned it is estimated that there are around 20 million people of indian diaspora which is spreaded across 110 countries so now what are the causes of migration why people migrate so basically people generally are emotionally attached to their place of birth but millions of people leave their place of birth and residence there could be variety of reasons these reasons can be put in two broad categories the first one factor is the push factor because these causes people to leave their places of resident or origin and then there is a pull factor which attract the people from different places in india people migrate from rural to urban areas mainly due to poverty high population pressure on land lack lack of basic infrastructure facilities in rural areas that is like healthcare education etc and apart from these factor natural disasters such as flood drought cyclonic storms earthquakes tsunami wars and local conflict also give extra push to migrate on the other hand there are pull factors which attract people from rural areas to cities the most important pull factor for majority of the rural migrant to urban areas is the better opportunities which everyone wants availability of regular work and relatively higher wages better opportunities for educations better health facilities sources of entertainment and etc are also quite important pull factors so now this is the graph which shows the male migrant by last resident with duration 0 to 9 years and here reasons for female migration so basically you can see that in female migration around 65 percent female migrate because of marriage when they do marriage they are going to another city so that's why the rate of migration of female because of marriage is high that is around 65 percent very less women migrate for work and employment business education the ratio of moved with households so that's why the most percentage of migrations of women is because of marriage as it is prevalent in our indian society then the male migrations and the most highest percent of 38% male migration is because of education is because of work and employment so as you can see that here 38% of males migrate because of work or employment now the consequence of my mi migration what are the consequences or what are the factors that affects the society because of migration so migration is a response to uneven distribution of opportunities over space people tend to move from place of low opportunity and low safety to the place of higher opportunity and better safety this is in turn creates both benefits and problem for the areas people migrate fro from and migrate to consequence can be observed in economic social cultural political and dem demographic terms now we see one by one sorry economic consequence the first one is economic that means a major benefit for the source region is the remittance sent by migrants 
remittances from the international migrants are one of the major source of foreign exchange that is highest thing in india basically in 2015 india received us dollar 68.7 billion as a remittance which is a one of the highest in the world from international migrants punjab kerala and tamil nadu receives very significant amount from their international migrants now uh, there are some demographic con uh, consequence migration leads to the redistribution of population within a country rural urban migration is one of the important factors contributing to the population growth of cities age and sk skill selective out migration from rural areas have adverse effect on the rural demographics structure however high out migration from uttaranchal rajasthan madhya pradesh and eastern maharashtra have brought a serious imbalance in age and sex composition in these states similar imbalance imbalance are also brought in the recipient states now so, there are some social consequence basically migrants act as a agent of social change the new ideas related to new technologies family planning girls education etc get diffused from urban to rural areas through them migration leads to intermixing of people from diverse culture it has positive contribution such as evolution of composite culture and breaking through the narrow considerations and widen widens up the mental horizon of the people at large but it is also has serious negative consequence such as anonymity which creates social vacuum and sense of dejections among individuals and it continued feeling of dejections or rejection may have motive motivate people to fall in the trap of anti social activities like crime and drug abuse then there are some environmental consequence overcrowding of people due to rural urban migration has put pressure on the existing social and physical infrastructure in the urban areas this ultimately leads to unplanned growth of urban settlement and formation of slum shanty colonies apart from this due to over exploitation of natural resources cities are facing the acute problem of depletion of ground water air pollution disposal of sewage and management of solid waste which waste which is a most important consequence that are all major cities or the metro cities are facing at present time now there are some other consequence also basically migration even excluding the marriage in migration which is the highest percent in female affects the status of women directly or indirectly in the rural areas male selective out migrations leaving their wives behind put extra physical as well as mental pressure on the women migration of women either for education or employment enhances their autonomy and role in the economy but also increases their vulnerability if remittances are the major benefits of migration from the point of view of the source origin the loss in human resources particularly high scale which is also a thing which is india facing it scale is the most serious cause for the society from they belong the market for advanced skills has become truly a global market and the most dynamic industrial economies are admitting and recruiting significant proportion of highly trained professionals from poor regions as the payments are low as compared to their skills consequently the existing under development in the source region gets reinforced So thank you guys for listening me and watching this video please do these three hours i am giving a link for the data related to the present data in the description and also giving you the fb page link that is facebook.com/anorthodoxacademy so that you can follow us on this page also and share as much as possible so that more and more people will get benefit comment and like the video and subscribe the channel thank you